over to the deals area and we can click on this new deal button, at which point we're presented with a variety of different types of deals of which we're going to select tenant representation and that we are representing them in their, their new lease endeavors. So I click on the next button and at this point I'm going to type in a deal name. So this is the HMC uh, lease deal and it's still early enough to where I'm going to designate this as a sales stage of project initiation. We don't yet have a property identified and as such we don't really have a listing broker or an owner uh, landlord defined, but we certainly know that Hannah uh, and her company are the tenant and she is the primary contact in this transaction. And down the road, as we, we get uh, more of the relationship built out, we can start jotting down uh, things like the listing broker and the owner landlord. Uh, at this point, we're going to go ahead and define uh, gross deal value. And this is all very uh, projecting oriented, but based on the square footage that uh, she shared and the the rates uh, in that particular geography, we we deduce that the gross deal value is around two million, and we put a gut feel probability of 20% with an estimated close date that is really close to the uh, date that was jotted down. Um, in the preference conversations we had earlier. So I'm going to strive for brevity here in my initial deal. Uh, now we've created this deal where we can track this monetary aspect of the relationship in a much more disciplined way. And imagining that we've been using uh, Syndex RE for some time, there are a number of deals that we may have created in the system. And so we want to go and take a look at uh, our deal flow. And by clicking on the open deals view, I'm able to view all of those deals regardless of deal type here at the top. You'll see a series of tabs of which we have the tenant representation tab highlighted. And if we recall, when I first created the Hannah Masterson consulting lease deal, it was in the project initiation stage. And you can see that sure enough, it's sitting there in this bucket, if you will. But in conversations with Hannah, um, we've kind of advanced the proceedings here and we're no longer in the project initiation phase as a matter of fact we've advanced this to where we've got a, a nice little short list of properties that we want to take a look at and so I'm going to drag and drop that deal from the project initiation to the short list and you may have noticed that the dollars that were associated with that deal have now been migrated over to the short list bucket so what we want to do is drill down into that particular deal and we can see a variety of uh, deal points here of which we have the tenant and the and the the contact but to reflect where we are in this deal we want to select the prospective properties uh, that we are going to be touring and so i click on the new button and i'm able to go in and select the preston park financial center property that started this whole process and i'm going to add also a new property here um, merit tower to the mix as well. Now you'll notice that when I've gone in and added new prospective properties, those two first properties existed in the database already, but there is the ability if you should have a new property that's not yet in the database to, to add that here without you know, losing your process flow. So uh, we've added the two properties and again, fast forwarding through this, let's imagine that afterwards we've determined that the Preston Park Financial Center property is the most appropriate fit. And so we select that at the deal level here, defining, you know, the type of property. And if in fact there was a single availability, we could jot that down. Scrolling down further, um, we've got the listing broker. In this case, we'll just select a listing brokerage. Uh, and the owner of the property is Roof and Partners. And we've jotted that down so that we can mine the database down the road that point we hit the save button and now we've got a really well built out deal that's reflective of where we are in the stage uh, a historical reference of which properties were considered uh, in this deal and certainly the one that we're actually working with right now um, and the listing broker. This concludes the demonstration for today's session here I want to just uh, remind you that uh, you can go to uh, www.ascendix.com for more information of course, uh, the, the products that you've seen here are listed out on the App Exchange as well. 
uh, you can reach out to me personally at wsnow at ascendix.com uh, or sales at ascendix.com uh, and, uh, and get more information um, that way and set up a personal demonstration. So I appreciate your time and uh, I look forward to uh, meeting uh, you in the future. Thanks.